Maybe one day I'll cut back on Monster, but right now, what's going on guys? Brandon Harden here. Hope you're having a great day. It is the 21st of November, and if you saw my last video, you will know that I'm currently in Toronto. We just moved in yesterday to this new Airbnb. We're actually only gonna be here for one more day because we're moving to a different Airbnb just down the street from here because as of yesterday, I decided that I was gonna spend quite a bit more time in Toronto. I actually have no reason right now to go back to Birmingham to do this exact same thing, get an Airbnb until I decide to do next year. I thought, why not just do it in Toronto because I'm here, it's an incredible city. I've got some friends here. There's a bunch of opportunities to do new things here that aren't in Birmingham. So I thought before Christmas, I was gonna spend the next month until the 17th of December in Toronto. <laughs> This is the place that we're currently living in. Very spacious kitchen, living space. Awesome, like incredible view. Little bit of a balcony. Table that is currently being used for storage, not dining. Suitcases pretty much everywhere, like dispersed throughout the whole place. We've got Brittany in bed. This is the bedroom. Super awesome view, same as the living room. Another suitcase down there. This is the bathroom, which did look somewhat put together until you have a female living in it. And uh, yeah, then it turns out looking a bit like this. <laughs> we just picked up some beverages, hence the monster. Got a protein shake for after the gym. I'm him back and biceps today, I think, at the gym just down the street. It's a good life. We've got some Diet Coke for Brittany, some Gatorade for me. The plan for today is me and Brittany are going to head to this aquarium that's about 10 minutes driving away from here. We went to an aquarium in Boston, and it was like a really shitty experience. Like, it wasn't a good aquarium, so we're hoping to reset our aquarium experiences with the apparent really good aquarium that's in Toronto. Then at 4 o'clock, I'm going to be hitting the gym with a friend of mine that I actually met here yesterday called Joey, hoping to deadlift. I'm actually really excited about it haven't deadlifted in probably about three or four weeks now due to like a lower back situation that has come about ever since I started bulking. My lower back pumps have become like a bit of a problem. I don't have a problem with my lower back, but through gaining weight on this bulk, which I will speak about in a future video because I have gained a serious amount of weight. Like I haven't even given you an update on what my current weight is, which I will do, like I said, in a future video. But due to that weight gain, some problems do arise in the body due to rapid weight weight gain, all interesting things to come, but regardless of the situation, I will be deadlifting today. Come on, get up. We have some fish to see. Real quick before we head to the aquarium and like start the day, I wanna say a massive thank you for all the love and the messages uh, from the previous video that I posted. Obviously, as I said, things didn't work out the way we originally planned, but having spent the past two days here making new plans and setting new things in motion, everything's working out. But uh, yeah, right now, we're gonna head out and go see some fish. I actually picked up these boots just yesterday because I thought, I don't know why I thought this would be a great idea, but I went to America only bringing trainers and no actual like warm boots. And considering I'm spending like a month in the freezing cold, I thought some boots with fur inside, as you can see, would be a necessary investment. Walking around in the freezing cold with your ankles out, it's not a fun activity, as I learned on the first day. So the boots were definitely necessary. What to do? with all these buttons. <laughs> We're just waiting for the Uber. We was originally planning on walking to the aquarium because it's not actually that far away, but it just started raining and I quickly wanted to address the, the cut on my face. I thought it'd be a great idea yesterday to hit myself in the face with a car door, slashing my cheek open. I just thought it'd be a really fun thing to do. BZT. Hit him. We're gonna see what these fishes have to say. The biggest animal that I saw at the only other aquarium that I went to was like a medium sized turtle. My expectations right now are kind of high. So first off, we have these creatures with extremely long noses. No idea what the hell they are but the, <laughs> and why their mouths are open so wide. They look like they're having a good time. You're so ugly. All 
Alright, so that is it for the aquarium experience. Definitely bigger and a lot cooler than a medium sized turtle. Had such a sick time. It was honestly mind blowing to see like a shark over me. I've never been that close to a shark before and I don't plan on getting any closer to a shark. But uh, yeah, right now we're going to Uber back to the apartment, get some food, and then get ready for the gym. Do you have a good time? Yeah. Did you like the fish? Do you want to get one? <laughs> we can get a shark. Jellyfish. Yeah. We'll change. I'm ready for the gym. My buddy Joe, who we're working out with, you'll see him in a second, has just brought us to this place called Impact Kitchen. It's just like build your own bowl. It's super clean foods. We've basically got chicken, steak, rice, and spinach. I'm eating clean. I ain't got back pain. I'm sweet. <laughs> We popped this supplement store just down the street to get a pre-workout sample. Obviously didn't want to like buy a full pre-workout, but it's from Redcon 1 and I'm yet to have it. We've already done two sets on deadlift and we're about to hit the three weights. I'm a little bit weary of it. Never had Redcon 1, but here we go. Going into the Gatorade. By the way, the reason that the mic is here and not on the camera is because my mic actually died. I haven't charged it in the past like four months, so sorry if the audio actually fucking sucks. Good man. Pretty successful pull on the six plate, which is 585 pound, I think. I'm still used to kilo, so obviously like the pound situation is still like a mystery to me. If I add 10 pound a side, because my PR right now is 600 pound, but if I add 10 pound a side, that's 605, which means it will be a PR. back from the gym ended up having such a good workout sadly didn't get the PR on the deadlift as you saw six plates went up so easy like more easy than it has ever gone up in my entire life but just adding 20 pound to the lift it was like concrete it was drilled to the fucking ground and I'm thinking if I just lifted the 605 pound without lifting six plates before that would I have got it we'll never know or at least until the next time we try it Joey the guy I just hit a workout with was kind enough to supply the monster addiction by giving us a crate he had two so he was like dude do you want to create a monster I was like that is the stupidest question you've probably asked all year now the plan is for the rest of the night is me and Brittany are probably gonna order some sushi we're gonna stay in tonight we're gonna watch a movie we're gonna chill out it's been a pretty busy day we haven't really stopped for the past like couple days with like moving from Airbnb to hotel to like lugging around all our suitcases is trying to figure out like everything that we're going to be doing over the next like, month because to talk about the elephant in the room and just to elaborate on what I was speaking about in my last video being positive and moving forward I feel like in being put in a difficult position as like human beings we are forced to grow when in certain circumstances us not getting the visa and not being able to be in America it put us in a position in our relationship and for me in general like figuring out like okay I didn't get what I want what am I going to do next it's opened up so many creative doors in my mind of like things that I could potentially do now that wasn't the initial plan like do I want to spend two months living in Marbella with a couple of friends that text me the other day saying dude we're going to be living in Marbella Bayer for two months do you and Brittany want to join and I was like holy freaking shit that would be so sick or do I want to get a sick apartment in London which I spoke about in the previous video or do I want to spend a little bit more time in Canada there are so many options right now things to do and I feel like I'm gonna treat this whole experience as a new beginning and a fresh start I'm way too much of a positive guy in terms of just being positive about life especially when you need to be positive about life when it's not going so well I'm very good at just keeping myself busy and distracted going through life and just like pushing out the bad I feel like this time is going to be different I'm not just going to ignore the problem I am going to destroy the problem by doing everything that I thought I didn't have the opportunity to do before. I posted a picture on Instagram today, which is probably the thumbnail for this video. And the caption was, who thought it would be a good idea to put me 
in a difficult situation. I am only gonna grow from those difficult situations. It's who I am, it's who I've always been. From starting my YouTube channel, family, friends from a young age, people would literally tell me, what makes you think people want to see your life that was almost enough to make me say you know what just watch just like just like sit down continue on through your boring ass life hating on people that want success and just watch and that's exactly what's going to happen right now i was denied something that i was given and then it was taken away from me you thought you could slow me down i don't fucking think so that's kind of the point that i wanted to end this video with is that if anyone's watching this and you had something planned or let's just say something didn't go your way let that emotion drive you into the next pursuit of your life. It will be a spark that you didn't think you needed, but it's gonna be very necessary to propel you into the success of a future endeavor. I feel like I'm just a living motivational quote right now. Forgive me if this is a little bit cringy, but I'm just speaking about what's like going on in my mind and like everything I've been telling myself to get through the situation. Fuck it, it's life, it is what it is. If you don't like it, stick around for the next video because it may be a little bit less in your face. If you enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, join the dance squad, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys again in the next video. Peace.